Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So today is a slight change to our regular program. We were going to bring you some Mark 3 TT um, stuff but today I've decided that we're going to reveal to you my new project car. Now this car is a little bit different to what we normally buy. I know you normally are looking for your damaged vehicles that we have to put together but this car well let's take a look at it. Okay so ladies and gentlemen Welcome to my new project car. Okay, yes, it's another TT and a Mark 1 TT, but this car is slightly different. If you haven't already noticed, you've probably seen that there isn't any damage out there on that vehicle. However, for you crash damage guys who will always want to see a bit of damage, there is some damage on this car and I'm going to show you right now. There you go, right there. See that dent? There's your damage. So I'm going to have to replace the whole car because of that. Right, let's move on. So I bought this car from Copart. It was one of their used cars. And I thought I'd try this out because I got it for a princely sum of, well, actually, let me show you how much I got it for. So you've seen it, 575 pound, cheap. And with the fees, it was around 650 quid to get it out the door, which I am very pleased with. However, this car doesn't come without its issues because buying a car, a used car like this, never comes without issues. So let me go through some of the issues lists, starting from the front. Right, so if you know your Audi systems, the PCV system, it's all leaking. You can see down there, it's just covered in oil where it's all blown out from the um, combustion chambers and blowing out from the crankcase ventilation system. So that all needs to be replaced. Top of the car here as well. Well, that all needs to be sorted and cleaned out. It's all corroded up there. So that's the engine bay. The car itself has been sitting around for a long time. So it is covered in moss. In fact, this car has been sitting around. Well, we'll come on to that in a second. So let's just continue with the issues on the car. The dashboard is absolutely riddled with moss. In fact, most of the car, the central console, all covered in moss. This door handle and door bit, all covered in moss. Behind that seat there, the carpet, full of moss. These seats, well, they could do with a bit of a refurb and we'll be doing that at a later stage. The dashboard in this car, well, actually, this car is not suffering from the dreaded dash um, pod. It's been sorted. However, look at the uh, temperature gauge and the fuel gauge. The car is empty and yet the fuel gauge is exactly where it is in the middle there. And the temperature gauge is at 90 and yet the car is cold. So they'll need to be replaced. Those two gauges, common problem in a TT. The roof in this car, it goes up, no problem, but um, it doesn't go down. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, doesn't come down. That front grille, that should be on the front of the car. 
However, somehow it's in the seat. Now it needs to get fixed as well. This uh, vanity panel here, broken, doesn't stay up. The seal down here, it's starting to corrode. It's, it's already blistered. It may or it may not get through an MOT. Then break this on this car. Whoo, they need to be changed. They are rusted and pitted. And the car in general just needs some real TLC. It's been, I would say this car has been neglected, but actually it hasn't. Let me tell you about the story of this car. So this car, it's done 130,400 miles. And if you look at the MOT, that's where the mystery of this car begins because this car failed its MOT when it done 129,394 miles, okay? Up in Blackburn. Now, the garage where they did the MOT, they also serviced the car. This is back in 2018. In fact, they did a little bit more than that because a car that's done this kind of mileage, you'd be looking to change the cam belt. So when the car came, I got this. So upon opening the boot, I saw this. I thought, hey, this is a cam kit. And sure enough, inside we've got the old cam belt here, and we've got the water pump and the tensioner, idle tensioner for the belt. So this tells me that this car has had the cam belt change at some point. And then I went under the engine bay and saw this. Here we have the sticker for the cam belt and it's got the mileage on there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's telling me 130,400 miles. It says KM, but it's miles. And the date that this was done was, looks like either the 12th or the 14th of June in 2018. Okay, see the date down there? So in 2018, or three years ago, it's not even three years, it's three years in June. So two and a half years ago, the cam belt in this car was changed, which is really good. But this is the mystery now, because remember that mileage, 130,400, okay? Let's go and see how many miles this car has done since 2018. Can you see the mileage? 130,400 miles. That's how many miles this vehicle has done since its last MLT. So that means for the last two and a half years, this car has done no mileage. It's just been sitting around doing nothing. Gets even weirder. Now, I know you guys are already going online to check the uh, MLT. I'm gonna spare you all that. I'm gonna show you on screen now where this car had its last MLT. So if you can see on screen now, you'll see that this car was MLT'd in Blackburn, okay? Nothing mysterious about that. And yet, yeah, I know a little bit of history about this car. I know that the person who owned this car, because I know this car, that's the reason why I bought this car, because I know this car. Don't know the person, but I know the car, okay? Let's leave it at that. This car, the owner, previous owner, lived in West London. So how did this car get from Blackburn to West London with no miles? No miles added to the clock whatsoever. The car, the miles that you've seen on this vehicle, that's the miles that's been on there. Now, that could mean one of two things, that somebody decided to clock this car, highly unlikely for a car of this age, you'll just put on the 168 miles that it would have been to get down from Blackburn to London, right? No hard, no hardship, or this car was transported. And there's another clue, because I bought this car from Copart. Um, I can see on the on the V5 that the vehicle was last purchase or the last change of ownership was in June of 2018. So I think what's happened is that this vehicle was prepped for an MLT, the previous owner had it um, MLT and had it serviced and had a new cam belt fitted, sold the vehicle, the person had the car transported down to them and then that was it. The car never moved um, any further than that. 
So for two and a half years, this car has been sitting there and that would explain why the car is in the condition that it's in. Now, before you panic and say, whoa, 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 Paul, you've just breached co parts rules there. Well, no, I haven't, because like I said, I know the person, I know somebody who knew the person who owned this car. Uh, and they told me that this car was coming up for auction. That's the reason why I bought this car, because I knew a little bit about its history based on that. So I haven't contacted the previous owner. Okay, so calm down. So, yeah, so this is it. So uh, th that's the reason why the car is in this state. So what are we going to do with it? Why did I buy this car? Well, I have noticed that TT prices are going up. Mark 1 TT prices are going up. And it's no secret that Audi are no longer building the TT. The TT now has reached the end of its road. Audi are now gonna create something new. What that is, we'll find out in due course. But as a result of that announcement, TT prices have started to creep up, I've noticed. And I've been watching TT prices for a while. And these cars, they did get down to rock bottom, but all of a sudden, they've started to increase in value. Now, just think, I bought this car for £575. I'll give you a breakdown of the full price when we finish uh, getting it back up to spec. But if I was to buy this car now, and let's face it, nobody buys car convertibles in the, in the winter, but they do sell them in the summer when they're more appealing. You thinking what I'm thinking? Get back in there at once and sell, sell! But that's not the main reason why I've bought this car. I've bought this car because of my passion for the TT. And yes, I know there'd be a few of you saying, this is a hairdresser's car. Hairdressers buy this. Yes, they did because hairdressers had good taste. It's a TT. I've always liked the car, I've always liked the brand, always wanted to own a convertible and I've owned every TT now, so I've owned the Coupe, the 225 Coupe, I've had the 3.2 V6 or the VR6. So the only car that was missing in the arsenal was this car, the, the convertible. So now I've owned all of the cars. We don't count the 180 or the 150s, they were just mistakes. So the plans. Well, we're gonna do a partial restore on this car. We're not gonna give it fancy wheels. We're gonna keep the original wheels. I am going to refurb the wheels because the wheels on this car, well, let's, they could do it a bit of refurbing. Now on the engine bay, we're going to give it a thorough clean up. We'll change the gasket on that rocker cover. We'll clean up the inlet manifold here. We'll add some chrome bits. We're gonna change all of the bolts and plastic trim here and give them a good clean up. We'll probably fit an aftermarket um, intake filter and this battery box here will get a general clean up. We'll even probably go down the silicon hose route. We'll then fit a catch can and this engine will just look a different, it will look very different to what it's looking like now. The rest of the car with all the moss you can see in the back there, we'll give the car a thorough clean up and this engine bay will look absolutely prestige. Going inside the vehicle, well, we're gonna take out the seats. The seats will get a good clean, and then we're going to recondition the seats, which means I'm gonna paint them, yes. Now, if you've seen my um, early videos on the VR6, look up here, you will see that I originally painted the white seats in my TT and painted them a kind of sandy Mercedes color. And they, it went really well. And that car, it was fantastic, the results. So here we're gonna do a similar thing. However, we're gonna keep the seats the same color. What we're going to do though is just refurb them because they're a little bit worn and tatty. And we may do the same with the steering wheel as well. From the inside, that centre pod, we're going to fit a new um, console here and fit a double DIN uh, state-of-the-art uh, Atoto radio. So, and that will have Apple CarPlay. So we're going to bring the ICE right up to date and bring it into the 21st century. We'll probably take the centre console out and give that a good clean. We're going to replace this door here. We'll fix the roof. We'll get it real clean. We'll give the car really good clean up. Then we'll take a look underneath the vehicle as well. So we'll start cleaning up some of the wheels. Like I said, the wheels are going for a bit of a refurb. Um, those tires are really green as well. And the front, 
this front tire here keeps on going down and as you can see you might be able to just see it there this, this wheel here is corroded but I do like these original wheels and they are well sought after on my previous TTO I swapped them for some spoke wheels and these they sold within a couple of days they were quite popular um, are we going to lower the car? we might do the back is certainly high and I'm contemplating that that might be the only mod that we're going to do but we're going to definitely fit some new brakes as well and we're just basically going to bring this car back up to its former glory then we'll decide what we're going to do with the car are we going to keep it the last convertible that I had was a BMW Z4 I was only supposed to keep that for six months so I bought it in the winter like I bought this car and I ended up keeping it for four years it's such a great car to have particularly on a sunny day so there you have it and also this car has got the um well actually I noticed on the 225s these gray headlights they fitted them in the later years but I have noticed them on some 2002 models as well so that's the plan for the car so what do you think good buy or bad buy let me know in the comments below well, I think we're gonna have some fun with this car and like I said it's a classic you know this car is over 20 years old although this particular model is 17 years old but you know it's all about you know it's all about taste and what you like and I like these cars and I like an older car to have in the fleet as well so now we got a mark 1 and we've got our mark 3 and we've got our s3 so we the, 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 the fleet for now is complete and we've got a lot of things that you're going to enjoy us doing over the next few weeks so I hope you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe here if you're a casual subscriber because a lot of you are so click on this link down here click on the bell notification like and share this video let's see if we can get to a thousand likes on this video and we will see you on the next one when we'll be giving this car a clean up before it goes for its MOT